Can we begin tonight with a closer look at one community's revitalization plan and how they plan to get more people in. Leaders in the city of Bishopville are looking to revitalize their downtown area with more than a dozen vacant buildings along Main Street. City Council members say changes are being planned for the area. News 19's Tai Wong explains. It was busier when I was growing up and that would be in like the 90s. Bishopville native Haley Garrett remembers a time when the city's downtown was vibrant. Things look much different now, but she's hoping planned improvements to the historic district will turn things around. Any place can go through a time when like some businesses go through a downturn, but I think that it has the potential to grow again for sure, especially now a lot of people are moving to South Carolina. Currently, there are around 53 buildings in the district. 18 of them are vacant. That's according to the city councilman Wayne Hancock. There are certain buildings down there now that the roof's falling in. There's been no attention taken and we're going to address those. Hancock says the city plans are revitalizing old buildings and streetscaping with grant funding. Stabilizing the buildings first, assisting current business owners so they can continue operating and then try to address uh, increasing the amount of retail businesses that come downtown so we can draw more foot traffic. The city council is creating a plan and budget to fix the area by the new fiscal year in July. Lee County Administrator Alan Watkins says Bishopville is vital to the county's economy. Lee County is always traditionally been basically an agricultural rural community and we're trying to transition. We've been working on it for a number of years to you know, a little more industrial commercial job base. Watkins adds with the new vibrant downtown area, more people want to come visit and do business. So the county is working with state and federal leaders to secure more funding. These are all very expensive projects and and so we're working very closely with the city of Bishopville to try to make sure that Anything we can do to help facilitate their, their plans for the downtown, we're, we certainly want to be a part of that. The city and county hopes to receive enough grants so no residents will face a tax increase. Reporting in Bishopville, Tai Wong, News 19, WLTX. Well, city leaders will have a final plan by mid-April and they hope to start the renovations in the next year.